So yeah, we'll start right off with uh, <laughs> the shooting that happened yesterday. <laughs> I'm not laughing at anybody getting shot. He is. Don't get shot. Uh, I'm not Don't get shot. shot. <laughs> but you know, good, good, good. Kids. When you go to school, don't get shot. Well, that's that's real, real PSA right there. Oh, fucking A. So, uh, yes. We were laughing at something else before. I'm not laughing at people getting shot. Don't listen sh- to him. <laughs> He's laughing at death and destruction, wanton violence. <laughs> I don't know what they put in your burger. Uh, that those was burgers, a good burger. Those burgers were great. Oh, uh, fucking A. Shout out real quick before I get yeah, into Yeah, burgers and shakes. I, I didn't get the the guy's name, um, but Burgers and Shakes on, uh, I believe it's uh, somewhere on, on Collins Ave. Uh, I'd say 70... Oh, oh, the one in North Beach? Yeah, oh, 74. Yeah. Two. 72? Two. 70-something. Uh, uh, you guys did an amazing job. You guys were super in the weeds, and you still managed to give us great service and um, and, and great food. So yeah. thank you very much. I appreciate it. You put it. bacon on everything, and I don't fuck with pork, but... We, we took the pork off. I but, took the pork uh, off. I, yeah. I cons- but it was great. It was I consumed great about, like, that much bacon. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, I'll gotta- die. <laughs> good burger. It was it was really a great burger. We got the avocado and chicken, and then we got uh, two medium uh, 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 burgers that were that were really great. So yeah, thank the, you guys. The yeah. sweet potato fries, even though they were cold. Yeah. I fucking... well, they, they were only cold because it took me a while to get well, here. That's twenty five minutes from my house. <laughs> so, but even though they were cold, they were still good. They were still good. Uh, so thank you guys. Shout out to you. Um, and now back to the topic at hand <laughs> shootings <laughs> right outside this house uh i live in little haiti but they're you know trying and to we're ju- not we're not this isn't like a detriment to haitians no 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 this but is, this is uh and they're trying to gentrify this area and, and rename it so <laughs> if you go by the overpass where the crackheads sleep uh there's a sign that says welcome to west buena vista and so now my neighborhood is called West West Buena Vista, which Wait, th- there's Buena Vista like not too far from here. Yeah, so they're Son they're trying to bitch. like encroach this way and just push out the Haitian element. It's like a NATO and Ukraine thing. Yeah, Fucking they're man. annexing the the Buenas and the Vistas. <laughs> they're annexing the Buenas and the Vistas, <laughs> but. Uh, so, uh, Lord. yesterday I, I made an Instagram post. I was going to my car. Well, before, <laughs> I heard the shots. I heard the shots from that bathroom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you do when you heard the shots? Shrugged. Just, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I knew it. As a Southerner, I was like, you know, he probably just went, nah, whatever. It's fine. I'm like, I looked back to my room like, do I need my gun? No. <laughs> And then I took my shower. <laughs> this is true. I took my shower, and by the time I got out of the Can shower... Can you believe this guy? <laughs> and I, I heard it from the bathroom. I'm like, I don't hear anything hitting the house. So, right. So, so it's like, eh, whatever. Like, I could, I Somebody could, else can do I this. would hear it if concrete, concrete was getting, like, pinged up. But no, it was like... I, I know from the military how far a gunshot right, exactly. is. Right, exactly. So I'm like, it's close. It was really close. It was two houses over there. I'm like, that's close, but it's not... Not close enough for not me. Not close to... enough for me to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, I, and I just... Uh, I heard like seven or eight shots, and they were sporadic. They were not like continuous. So... I believe a police officer lost his life. Uh, oh shit! Did he really? Yeah. I thought he was just shot. He might just be shot. I'm not sure. But they <sighs> they locked down my neighborhood for over fifteen hours. Because when I was when I got dressed to go to work at four, and I was leaving the house, I had to pop my trunk open to leave my own neighborhood just to make sure I wasn't harboring Fuck. the fugitive. And then when I got back at 4.30 a.m., they were still here, 
and air, uh, perimeters were still set up. Wow. Helicopters are still going around. Yeah, that sounds like somebody died. That yeah. Fuck, man. And uh, they, I had to pop my trunk on the way back in, and they were like, you can't come in here. I'm like, I, I live, live here. here. Yeah. And he's like, you got a, a driver's license with that address on? I'm like, thankfully, I do. Yes, here. God damn. And, uh, Jesus. I got in, and... Shout out to anybody that was trying to have a hookup that was down here. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you They're want to get let, laid. Not letting in any Ubers, <laughs> any fucking Postmates, all your pizzas uh, are fucking cold. Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus Christmas. I mean, the pizza you can get away with, but if you were trying to fucking get laid last night, sorry. Uh, I, I, I'm not saying sorry because I did it. I'm just saying He did like, it. <laughs> I didn't do it. He's got the Pinky Blinders hat on. Yo, he did it. I had to bring it back. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you do look good in the in the Peaky Blinders, the, the newsy. Uh, yeah, we gotta get you. We gotta get you. Like, we gotta pull up a, a, a classic like Peaky Blinders quote, and we gotta have you do it. All right, you know that was a, a thing. Uh, we were talking about it in the kitchen, and like in comedy, and like a lot of people that that work and do impressions or accents. Mm. Uh, the world has significantly shrunk, and it really fucking pisses me off. Like, if I want to do an Indian accent or a Jamaican accent or a fucking a Mick accent like mine, like it, it's for the state of it's for the purpose of comedy, not to make fun of other people. It's just an impression. An impression doesn't mean it's a fact. And then there's going to be a ton of people who disagree with me. Like, you can't do that. It's cultural appropriation. Yeah. All of us constantly appropriate other things. There's no originality anymore. So let's just reuse the resources that we have, which are each other, and fucking have a laugh. I don't... I, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. And... My name is Mutumbu. Yo. <laughs> You're appropriating actual Africa. I, I, I mean... I was thinking about this earlier. Can we all just relax? Stop yelling at each other into the void on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. I need to make this video about this guy that did uh, blackface and that did... He, he, he made an accent of a Jamaican and he's not Jamaican. And, 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 and this guy has uh, uh, locks and he's not black. Can you just have a laugh and just enjoy entertainment yes. without it's, everything needing to be some woke? Life is not that serious. It's really not. Like, the people who want to have these, like, like I'm better than you conversations are oh, dickheads. Jesus Christ. And it's, it's men, it's women, it's gays, straights, it's a lot of people. Speaking of which, okay, so let me tell a story real quick. Okay, so, uh, I worked at the corner, um, mm. as you know, and if anybody knows me, you know that if I'm going to diss you or I'm going to say a swear or whatever, I say it in another language. So, if I drop a bottle of wine or if I stub yeah, my toe, that. yeah, I, I, I don't say fuck, uh, I say conio or uh, maraconiaso or, or whatever. I, I don't do it in English because I'm around mostly English speaking people. So some guy ticked me off one night and said, I, and I said, uh, Fugato, which in Italian is loser. Like, it, like I'm calling him a loser. But it sounds like the F bomb. But it sounds like the F bomb. So some other woman was like, oh, you said faggot. Which I didn't say, but right afterwards she was she was like, "Oh, why do you, why did you say that?" And I was like, "I know you don't speak Italian. What the, the, you don't even know what I said." And she was like, "And, and don't act like you haven't done it before." And I was like, "What?" You know, you kid, yeah, yeah hater like, of the gays. <laughs> yeah, like I uh, what, live in Miami. Like what the fuck. And so I thought about it afterwards, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. 
you you're not like you're just virtue signaling like virtue signaling you don't actually care about the fact that i may have said faggot you're more concerned with oh i can now go and tell on this guy because i don't like him now i can tell on this guy and be like oh well he said faggot which is not what i said no. and uh and i can expose him as being gay and and being in the closet so hold on time out <laughs> so if you i if love you, it <laughs> if you care about if you care about people who are gay right like think about this if you care about think if you care about people that are gay, right? Like you say you do, because I supposedly said faggot, which I didn't say. But if you actually care, you would never go out to your manager and be like, well, you know what? Kip's gay, and he said this word. Now you're outing me. If I actually was gay, now you're outing me, which is like the worst thing that you can do to somebody who's gay and is not ready to come Struggling out. Struggling with identity. So, if, right. So, do you do you care about? No, you don't. You're you, you're just virtue signaling. Like, oh, pfft, I I got him. Now now I can throw his gay life in the dumpster. So. Most Man. of you don't actually give a shit about what the what the real issue is. You're just looking for a way to show everybody else it's, that you're a good person yeah. and uh, they, look at me and they, and they want everybody wants to be right. And it's like you know you're, what? You're, it's not a, it's not that bad to be wrong sometimes. No, it's not. And we've said that before on the show. It's like fucking a. The price of being right is like harmful to other people and like (sighs) do you always need to be right if it's causing other people stress and like struggle like it's not worth it i mean you don't have to be right all the time no i don't have to be neither does no no one has to be right all the time there there are going to be things that we say in the podcast that are not right absolutely we're a hundred percent we're a (laughs) hundred percent Burt Kreischer, one hundred percent. But I hate that. We're 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 just trying to have a dialogue. That that's that's the 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 main point. You just have to be able to have a dialogue. That's what the first amendment is all about. We should be able to have a dialogue and and hash it out like adults. And the fact that some of you. <clears throat> just want to shut people up and say, oh, well, you don't, I don't agree with you. And so we should just take you off this platform or take you up. No, this is, this is not how this works. Get fucked. This is not how this works. If you don't agree with me, then fine. Just say something. But you can't just be like, hey, uh, what, what was that movie where, uh, uh, Cohen, uh, what's, what's his name? The guy that did, uh, Borat? Oh, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. <laughs> and he did that movie where he was like a dictator and he was like, like the whole movie, he just kept <laughs> being like, kill him. <laughs> Anyone yeah. who disagrees with me. Yeah. And then there was another guy who did, uh. And, oh, I love that. And they all faked the execution. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the best what was thing. <laughs> what was the other guy that did, um. He had a funny bit that was, uh, uh, you run a red light, you go straight to jail. <laughs> what was that guy? I don't know. Oh, fuck. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but people are, are, are going to know, like, uh, you know, who he was. But you dress wrong, you go straight to jail. Uh, you run a red light, straight to jail. Uh, you drink too much, straight to jail. It's and, fucking, and it's fascism. That's what it is. It is. And some of you are, are like, yeah, let's bring this back. And it's like... No, 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 no. You do realize that every single person that are from these countries that have had fascism, had communism, they don't want that. Do you understand why Cubans are Republican as fuck? Because they grew up in a place where... That was common, and they don't want it again. They swam 80 miles, so they didn't have to deal with it. So, all right, anyway. Great swimmers. I didn't, I didn't want to go too, too deep in, in, into that. 
I, I want to complain about some funny things. Yeah. But I've been really wanting to do accents and stuff. I got it. <laughs> so maybe we could do, do you got one in, maybe in we could fall? do an exercise and you can just like name somebody and I'll give you do you got one in the vault do you got black pander in, in, in the black vault? pander no <laughs> who is that black panther do you got is that, that black panther's fat ass brother from china <laughs> black pander it's like black panther hold on let me and, and, let me roll with black pan black and pan. kung fu panda let me, let me put them put together let me see if I can do this black panda <laughs> You know how difficult that would be to do a black I'm, and I'm, Chinese I'm accent trying to do it right now. I'm trying to work it out. Like, put the beautiful mind equation right here. Oh, fucking uh, eight, yeah. <sighs> you won't be. <laughs> you won't be. Go climb Mount Mutumbu. You gotta do like an African chant, but in like a Chinese accent. Okay. Okay. I, so I don't know any. African so chants. there was. There if was, I make one up, it'll be okay. So super the, the, the Black Panther, like one of the chants that they did was uh, "Mafa, who, who, Mafa," but you gotta do that in like a Chinese accent. Mafa, who, Mafa, who, oi. Like we said, the things that we say in this podcast are so definitely not right. Yeah, definitely not going to be right. Ah, but they're funny if shit. You're, if you are, in fact, <laughs> if you are a black pander, plan, panda, pander. That's going to be my I Instagram apolo- tag. I apologize. Black pander. <laughs> oh, black Fucking pander. A. I want to write that movie. Oh, God. Black panda. And just cross accents oh. all over the place. <laughs> so it just sounds like a washing machine. <laughs> fucking shit oh. but yeah I'm not supposed to do that oh uh, fucking A speaking of which uh, I got, you got, it? got it I got it oh fucking shit Black Panther coming to a theater near you <laughs> don't bring the kids <laughs> rated Ooh, was that writing? Don't bring the kids. It's not R. It's just don't bring the kids. Don't bring them. <laughs> They'll be coming out with weird accents. All right. And they'll all get in trouble. Ah, uh, fuck it, eh? Uh, shout bro. out to uh, fuck. This is another reason I was ticked off today. Because uh, Hallie, uh, we talked about this last episode. Yeah. Hallie had her birthday party today, and I Aww. couldn't. I, I couldn't make it um, because you you had it between. And I'm not trying to, like, be mean or anything, but you you had it between, like, 12.30 and 6, 6.30, and it's like... What, does she work for Comcast? Be, exactly! <laughs> like, what, what is this? I thought it was from 6.30. I thought uh, it was the opposite. I thought it was from... 6.30 me, to midnight. Yeah. That makes sense. And I'm like, yo, 30-year-olds, we're, like... We work. We're, we're barely trying to get up. Like... Ugh. Mm-hmm. My back hurts. Mm-hmm. I can't get up until 6.30. Oh. So anyway, happy birthday to... And I bought a lot of... I bought you a lot of gifts. And I couldn't give them to you. And you didn't answer the phone. You know why I didn't answer the phone? Because you're fucking 30 years old now. That's why. Love you, Hallie. Love you. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> this is like the worst birthday That's the best birthday message, message ever. Yeah. I hope she gets to see you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip it out and send, send it to her. her. Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh fucking shit. Okay, so anyway, moving past that, uh, we talked about, and we might have to get into relationships a little bit more uh, today. No. Uh, why not? So I want to do more accents. <laughs> <laughs> you get to the accent of the foreign yeah. chicken then. The, and I know you, you're dating a black girl, so do the accent. Which black girl? Like, <laughs> Ashley? She was super white. And she had a white ass name. Wait, Tama! Hold on, you're dating a black woman named Ashley? And she Long, has. 
No, no, no. This was a long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was a model, and she was also a single mom. And Good shit. I met her right after she had her kid, and she was, like, real skinny. She just, like, dropped that weight. She got them, like... I'm, I'm not gonna... What? You, you gonna say she's got the Ethiopian genes? No, I'm... I'm... <laughs> I'm just, I I find it, I find it, never mind. Never I like. I'm I'm just gonna say shout out to Ashley. I, I like the fact that you drop that weight, like that. That that's all I'm gonna say. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna. I don't. I don't want you killing me in the comments. Just nah, just she'll never, just she'll never watch this. No no no, not her, but just. People in general. Other oh, actually. No, you don't understand. There's a... Don't kill me. I listen. I never Any, mind. Anyway. Never mind. Yeah. Anyway, but I will say this because we we talked about this last week, and I dug into it a little bit more. Oh my God! You just well continue. Um, just remind me to come back to. Uh... Some racist shit. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Let's get back to that racist shit. But um, I'm gonna. I think I just want to say one thing about this whole red pill thing, and then mic drop and let it go. All right. Number one. They lit you up in the comments on your Instagram. Uh, they didn't really light me up. But most everybody sort of agreed. Every everybody was kind of like, yo, this is uh, like this community is kind of weird. I don't even know if it's a community. It doesn't even make sense. Like if you look up red pill community, it's it's kind of it's ambiguous. Uh, there's red pill about this and about that and about oh well, what is the government doing about money and what the fuck does it have to do with women? And then all these there are these other people that want to talk about women and relationships and oh I can't get laid because I don't make six figures a year. Whoa. Okay, gentlemen. Use that term the loose, fact, loosely. The fact that women want someone who is in shape, makes money, is interesting, etc., is funny. The fact that they want that and they now have the option to find that because of globalization and the fact that guys can easily fly them out to Dubai or fly them out to Tulum or wherever they want to go. The fact that you're angry about that, I don't know what to fucking tell you. I'll tell you. I don't know. Do one of two things. Either become a high value man, which would require you to, I don't know, Put stretch in yourself. <laughs> Put in the effort and, and, be somebody that makes six figures a year, or talk to other women. Or option C, which I just found out. Jump off a bridge. No, 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 no. <laughs> not that. That's option D. Uh, option C. It should be option zero. Like, don't jump I, off a bridge. I literally found out about this yesterday. There's a term for these guys. They're called uh, passport boys. And what they do is like Jesus Christ, the more I dig into this. This is like the red pill, like from a guy. And uh <coughs> Oh, he, what he, he says like he's just so bitter over American women. And sure, like I I happen to like international women a lot. Uh and I usually don't date white girls, or at least not American ones. But like I'm not to the point where, like, I exclude those women in America, but there are people that they will just go on sexual vacations to anywhere in the world, and it's, like, a booming thing that's happening mm. with people that uh, are in that red pill uh, community. It's, like, they think there's no hope for them here in America. I'm like, that's stupid. I, 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 if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But you know what? Stop yelling at everybody online. Yeah. There's better uses of your time than listening to... And a lot of the stuff that I listen to were all shorts. 
they were like YouTube shorts that were very short form, but I didn't listen to them in long form, so I can't really gauge how the entire conversation played out. So I can't really make sense of, of, of any of it because it's, it's not long form. But if I was somebody that was in Zimbabwe, if I was somebody that was, that was from another country coming here and I started looking at these shorts, I would cancel the flight and stay wherever the fuck I was. It looks like we're going at each other's heads 24-7. And it's not the case. It's not the fucking case. I go out to... And I'm an average guy. I cook for a living. I'd say you're above average. Uh, all right. But I'm an adjustable six, maybe. But... I, Seven. Yeah, I don't think so. Adjustable, adjustable six. Uh, if I really adjustable get done up... Adjustable six. Adjustable that's, six. That's the name of my dick. <laughs> and my first album. <laughs> the Adjustable Six. <laughs> <laughs> that album is coming to Spotify. You'll oh, really enjoy the cover the art. <laughs> yeah. I love that name. I don't know why, but adjustable, adjustable six. six. I'm an Good. adjustable six. It's to, like truthfully, I'm mildly in shape. If I put black art, I look like you know I'm I'm, I'm all right. And I have absolutely no issue going out to a bar, going out to a bookstore, going out to Starbucks, and talking to women. I don't have six figures. I don't have a Bugatti. I don't have a, uh, a lake house and, and, and no, whatever. But you have charm and charisma. And you're funny. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. Do some cool shit... Have a life. Be cool. Have, have, have some stories to tell. And maybe you'll be able to attract more people. But don't sit here behind your mom's fucking... In your mom's basement. And then... Uh, oh, I don't, I don't get laid. Not from there, you won't. <clears throat> yeah. The, the beautiful woman don't, don't want to go down to your, your, your mom's basement... And, and the and, ones that and, do, whoo, yeah, beware of them. They'll wear you as a skin suit. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and ladies, shout out to female serial killers, all two of them. Okay. <laughs> all two of them. <laughs> Happy International Women's Day. <laughs> that was yesterday. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't it like, isn't it a whole month? I think I got think a whole it, month. I think it should be. Uh, I was talking to some women, and they said, no, it's just a day. I'm like, I'm pretty that, sure it's that, a month. That's pretty shitty. You guys got a fucking raw deal. Uh, I'm pretty Again. Sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a <laughs> raw deal. <laughs> Can I talk about my racist shit? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, and for the ladies, because I want to get back to his racist shit... For the ladies, look, there are plenty of average guys who are making fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year who are great guys, and don't give up on these guys just because they don't uh, want to take you to Tulum every couple of months. Yeah. Just... All right, that's it. The, and, oh, and just respect each other. Overall, we need each other in society. We need men, we need women, we need to get along. We need the things in between, also. Uh, 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 yeah, not whatever. Thing, not things, people. <laughs> the people in between. Not things. We need to just get along. So please, I don't need the... Uh, come on. But let's br bring the pendulum down and let's get it back to center where we can all just get a along. Fine. Fucking A. Harmony. So, okay. racist shit. Racist shit. Um, <laughs> that girl I was just mentioning, she was like, uh, her name was Ashley, and uh, she was a white girl underneath her skin, same, same darkness as you. And uh, she was like, so she was this. She was a self hating black woman. 
Oh, and, Jesus. And she identifies as as white. I <laughs> so yeah. yeah I would say so but uh, she would ask me to do crazy shit in bed like call her the n-word and I'm just like wow whoa and even I, I don't think I'd do that she would say it and I was just like it made me very uncomfortable and I'm, yeah I'm like, I'm, 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 uh, yeah and, fuck you know uh Good luck out there, Ash. <laughs> it's just uh, hope you feel better about yourself. And uh, uh, you were a decent girlfriend for a while, but she also had a major problem with alcohol. Oh, fucking a. <laughs> I don't know if those two are Good related. Luck. <laughs> I don't know if the alcohol fueled her self hatred. Or whatever it was. Oh my god. Yo, that is wild. So. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It was fucking wild. What what a great lay. (laughs) (laughs) What's. What was the first. You gotta run me through. Like, the first. The first time. Like, the first time she was like, call me. Call me a fucking nigga. <laughs> like, what? She would say shit like, she was, it was all dirty talk. It wasn't yeah. like, you know, smack me and call me the N word. It wasn't <laughs> like that. It was, uh. Cause she, that's what I'm thinking she, about. she would say, fuck this N word pussy. And she's like, that's your N word pussy. You're my master. Shit like that. And I would. <laughs> Wow, man, <laughs> fucking, that's wild. Uh, yeah, we're definitely clipping this out. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is how we go viral right here. Oh, but God, <laughs> I had a lot of great sex with her even after that. Oh, just, I, fucking I told shit. her I didn't want to do that. <laughs> that's rough, man. I don't, I don't. I mean, there was there was one woman who she wanted me to. She brought me into her bedroom, and there was like some contraption uh, in her in her room that uh, I, I, I just figured it was like an art piece. So I was like, "Oh, this, this is, is kind of a racist contraption." No, it was. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we... <laughs> it was. It was just a, like a portrait of me hanging from. <laughs> It was like a, I don't know, was, I, don't, I don't even, it was just, it looked like it was supposed to hang somebody from something. Oh. Um, but not like from the neck, it, it looked like it was supposed to hang your whole body, like your legs, Sex your, your head, everything. So I was like, alright, whatever, like this, you know. Sweet gym equipment. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that's pretty much what I thought. I was like, oh yeah, this is, this is a cool art piece or some sort of gym thing. Art. Um, and she was in shape, so I was like, oh, maybe she, whatever. I don't, I don't care. Like, I'm trying to get laid. Like, I don't care about what this thing is in the corner. And then she, you know, was just starting to take her clothes off, and she was like, hang me up in this. And I was like, excuse me? And she was like, yeah, I, I'd like to be hung. And I was like, yeah. Uh, we're in Kendall. <laughs> and... Um, you're a white woman uh, living in a very nice complex, and you've just invited a black guy in here to hang you. If this goes left for any reason, I'm not getting out of jail till 2024. And this was several years ago. So Oh, I, I was going to say one year? Was, yeah. <laughs> no. They're, they're, they're like very, several years ago. Very lenient. Let me, let me Is change Obama that. back in I'm office? I'm not getting... <laughs> Damn, man, they sped you right there. Man, you get out. Process. No, not for nothing, but if I was still in jail for that, I'd be like, yo, Obama, yo, bro, Barack, my man, you gotta get me out of here, bro. <laughs> she asked me to fucking wrap her up. So I wouldn't, I, if, I gotcha. I, if I had a done it today, I wouldn't have been getting out of there until 2076. Like, they'd have, they'd have thrown the book at me, it would have been a wrap. 
it would have been such a fucking like ooh, wait a minute hold on great so story this though. woman's lived here for three years and she asked you to tie her up with this thing and you you wait where do you live and you're yeah dude arrest this guy I, I would have done the same thing I, I would have done the same thing if I was a police officer and I pulled up on a scene where some white woman was tied up in some kind of contraption uh, butt naked and some black guy in his underwear was like, she told me to do it. We're like, yeah, okay. Get in the back seat. Like, I, I would have done the same thing. So I was like, no, I'm not doing this. Some of you ladies need to chill the fuck out. Jesus Christ. Get a red, red pill guy. I don't know. Get some. No. <laughs> get one of these guys that doesn't have sex. I don't know. Fucking hate. No. no. Oh, Lord. Fucking. What did I. Uh... So yeah, that was uh, my self-hating racist ex-girlfriend. For There's me. so many things that we're going to get canceled. <laughs> oh yeah. I feel a little bit nervous, but at the same time I'm like, fuck it. Like, I just want to have an opinion. Oh, and it's not Lord. even a serious one. Like, I mean, I, I think people that know us know we're, we're not... Obviously, I'm not racist. You're not racist. Yes, we, we're, we're doing we're not this. Massages. We're doing we're this not, for entertainment, right? It's and and you gotta relax. Don't you know? Don't do one of these stupid YouTube things where you take a a twenty second clip and then you go, oh, these guys, hang on, dox him, find out where he lives, and then like, no, you know what? Relax. And then we get to do our fake apology tour. And that, and that. <laughs> I love how you say fake apology Our tour. fake apology tour. Yeah, because we're not... Um, I'm not apologizing for anything I said. I didn't say anything that was... Hey, come on. Yeah, we're not killing people over here. Jesus I mean, Christmas. Maybe. Oh, speaking of which... Oh, yeah, you might be. <laughs> speaking of which... Uh, did, I, did I bring this up last week? The the Etsy thing? Etsy, Etsy, Etsy. I don't know. I don't uh, go into it. Maybe I'll remember. Uh, I, I had a, uh, so I have an Etsy store and one of the items, I'm pretty sure I brought it up last week, no? <clears throat> what item? Tell me. All right. I, cause it this was, is not jogging my memory. All right, cool. So it was, it was one item that was a cell phone case that had Andrew Tate on the back of it. I got it. All right. Good to- so... Now, I apologize if uh, I brought this up already, but Andrew Tate was on the back of a cell phone case. That's that's all it was. Now, along with this cell phone case, I also have Tony Soprano. Um, I have Lucky Luciano, which is really why I want to bring it up. Ed C hit me up and was like. We don't support hateful or violence, et cetera, et cetera. But they specifically took down the Andrew Tate one. But they didn't take down... And now, you can say whatever you want about Tony Soprano, because he's a character. But Lucky Luciano, he was an actual... He was a guy. Like, he's real. He was the creator of the commission. He built the five families in New York. He started from Italy, he came here, he created what we now know as the Italian Mafia. This was an actual person. So, I'm sorry, you're gonna leave that one up, but uh, Andrew Tate, I gotta take down? Does that make any sense? The guy that we know for sure is responsible for the deaths of hundreds and hundreds of people, we're going to leave him up, but we're going to go, oh, Andrew Tate, uh, he has some views that I don't like about uh, women, so we're going to take him down. Ha- hasn't been uh, officially, uh, acu- I mean, he's been accused, but he hasn't been actually convicted of anything. Lu- Lucky Luciano, he was convicted. We know that he has for sure been the deaths of hundreds of people. 
You're gonna leave that one up, but we're gonna take down Lucky Luciano. Does the, the, so, or, or, excuse me, the other way around. So this is a good chance to plug our merch. Uh, yeah, we're gonna I have. Didn't, I didn't wear Coco Berry today, but no, we're gonna have Pol Pot T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, might as Kim, well Kim Jong Un. Yeah. Uh, I, I bet I can come on here with a, a Putin t-shirt and everybody be like, well, you know what? That doesn't look that bad. <sighs> Fucking A. Have you ever, just, met, ever I, met a black Russian? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what my son's going to be. Black Russian. Oh, boy. Those are really good uh, drinks, though. Uh, Fucking A. It's black a, Russian. Oh, it is a good drink. Yeah, yeah you're, not, you're not lying. Blue, vodka, yeah. yeah. Um... Shout out to the Russians and and shout out to Ukraine. I want to be the official sponsor of the uh, Ukraine war since this is official just, sponsor. <laughs> since our podcast is ridiculous and your war also seems equally ridiculous. This war is brought to you by Alligator Count. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I don't have the funding. <laughs> do, do you remember us going... Remember when we went to the corner and we were talking to, to that Ukrainian kid that was like, uh, you know, this means something to me and the, you know, this is our land and da-da-da. And I was like, yo, bro. Oh, when I was like fucking getting like, super leave lit. It, leave it alone. Like, just bend the knee and, and, and stop. And he was like, no, we have to fight. And I'm like, this is not going to work out for you. The idea that y- Ukraine is going to beat one of the superpowers in the world is fucking ridiculous. And he was like, no. Blah, blah. Remember, remember we had that conversation with that dude? I think I was pretty fucking drunk. Yeah, we were, we were pretty in the bag. I, I, both of us were like, yo. I was saying some fucking off the wall shit. No, you, what you were saying was, was pretty legit. Because you, you were like, yo, listen. I think I was yelling at Argentinians. No. <laughs> it's like, fuck you guys, you don't tip. Your food's alright. <laughs> your food's alright. Your food's alright, your, your women are good, but you need to learn how to tip. It's funny because uh, there, was, there was somebody that was, I was on the phone with, uh, with somebody earlier today. I was doing interviews, and I could hear her accent. And uh, I looked at her last name. And you're and, like, oh, she doesn't yeah. tip. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch definitely said, don't do 15%. <laughs> you're going to say a nice 8% here. Ugh. So I was like, uh, before I could even get it out of my mouth, she like knew what I was going to say. I was like, wait, what's your name? My son, uh, are you Argentine? And before I could even get it out, she was like, yeah, I'm Argentina. And I was like, all right. Um, so shout out to uh, Argentina. What's that, uh, what's that spot on? Um, great great job on the World Cup. Uh, yeah, shout out. Yo, y'all yes, fucking killed it. Just learn how to tip and the world will be uh, like 100% better. That's not a fucking racist thing to say. Argentinians don't tip. It's facts. It's not a stereotype. Also, uh, if we're going to bring them up. The only one I do know is my old co-worker, Emiliano. And that's like... Well, Emmy? Yeah, he's the sweetest fucking guy in oh, the world. Oh, yeah, he's the sweetest. And, like, he understands tipping culture because he, he works in service industry. Yeah, to that. He did appropriate my culture, though, and he had braids last time I saw him. So, Emmy, I'm going to need you to take those out because I am woke now. I'm, I'm identifying as woke and I yeah. need you... <laughs> He's trying to get in touch with his Egyptian roots and you're fucking it up. <laughs> you know what? You actually <laughs> look pretty fucking dope with him. I was like, yo, I, I, I you know, when you walk into Lang Up or whatever, you, you, you sort of look to the right and you see the bar or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh shit, who's, who's this fucking new Dominican kid? <laughs> and then I saw her, and I was like, oh shit, it's Emmy! <laughs> I was like, oh shit, yo. He, yo, he'd look good. He Who, is, whoever did your fucking, whoever did your braids did a very good job. You you look, you look pretty good, man. Uh, I'm not even gay, and I'm fucking... Uh, he's handsome. You look good, man. He's a handsome you, boy. You looked handsome. You looked handsome. Um, but, uh, fuck, now, now I forgot what I was talking about. Jesus Christmas. Uh, anyway. What the fuck was I talking about? Uh... 
filming Black Panther and <laughs> Black Panda. Black Panther. <laughs> Don't call me nigga. <laughs> Don't call me chink. <laughs> that is like that's the clip right there. <laughs> Don't call me chink. Oh man. Oh, and fucking it. You know they have to bleep that out every time on Bad Friends. Like even when Bobby says it. Like it's it's a real slur and I apologize. Uh, I won't is, say the N word, but is it though? The C word is kind of funny. Here's the thing. The N word is not funny. Uh, here's <laughs> the thing. I really don't because I as somebody that talks shit and and whatever gets it. I don't like I I like to communicate, right? Like that's the, that's my thing. Like that that's what I like to do. So words for me are words. It's the, it, it's the I'm it's the intention you. behind them that that makes oh. a difference. So if if somebody wants to say the N word, if somebody wants to say nigga or, or even nigger, like I remember when I was in high school uh, I I did there, there there was like they were like hey Kip we want you to do a, a poetry reading uh, for the entire school uh, you know just oh just write God. something and for whatever reason I don't know why but for whatever reason I was feeling real black that week <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling real black that week and so this was in Boston yeah and mm. so nigga came up in the poetry and I can't remember what line it was i have no idea what the what the fuck it was but when i submitted it to and the, this was to a black professor oh. and he was like he came back to me like hey he like pulled me out of class and was like hey come here you want to start a race war yeah <laughs> he was like i got a good thing going <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking it up <laughs> Uh. <laughs> was that it? <laughs> That'd be funny. If that was his name. Like, hey, hey, man, I got a good thing going here. You got a wife and kids. You got to keep your uppity ass. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fucking asshole. But he legit pulled me out of class and was like, "Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna you're gonna use the n word in this thing?" And I was like. It's poetry, man. Like this is this is how I'm feeling. This is this is what I want to say. And he was like, "You're not fucking saying this. You better fucking change this. We're taking you off the thing." And I was like, "Dude, you're black." And he was like, "I don't give a shit. I work here." (laughs) And I was like, "I was right." (laughs) And I was like, "All right. Well, you know what? Then I'm not gonna do it." And he was like, "You're not gonna do it." And I was like, "No. If if this is what it is, then I'm not gonna do it." And and he was like, "All right, fine." Get out of the way. And he literally just pushed me out of the way. I was like, Elizabeth, bring your, come here. Bring your crack ass up here. Yeah. It was like, I need you to take this. Never mind the thing that I blacked out. Just rewrite this and da da da. And I was like, whoa. Like, this is wild, man. So it, it always gave me this weird feeling about words. Like, words, I mean, they're words. What? I, in In the poem, it wasn't like, I was demeaning black people. It wasn't, and even when I showed my dad, he was like, I "Can't believe you would use that word." And then he tried to act. This is all. This is all how all of you boomers are. All of you boomers, fuck you. <laughs> you you're all like, "I marched with Martin Luther King." No, you fucking didn't. Okay, no, you didn't. You were sitting on your ass. You have no idea what the fucking civil rights movement was really about. Shut the fuck up, okay? All you boomers that want to say, oh, I marched with King, and uh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Let's, let's be honest. Wrong answer. You fucking didn't. Wrong answers only in the comments. Like, <laughs> what, was the, what was the civil rights really about? Look. Price of oil or cornflakes? The oil on my skin. <laughs> you did not march with King, okay? You didn't. I don't see any of you in any of those photos. You did not march with King. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, where's okay? the where's the water hose marks on your face? Yeah. <laughs> did did you get hose? No, you didn't. 
you were at home watching it happen, also, being like, God damn, uh, thank God I'm in here in my house. Also. Uh, being harassed by my, my white landlord. Um, and, 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 and thank God I'm, I'm not out there with, with King and, and da, 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 getting uh, bit by dogs. And you didn't stop. This is like me. a serious thing. That reminds me of Boondocks. Like, <laughs> yeah. All of you want to, all of you boomers want to act like you're, you're, which one of them on, on Boondocks was, was like the, the old woke man? one? Oh. Riley or, uh, or, oh, there goes your, there was, there was Riley or, what? Your fucking Russian bomb is about to go off. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Shout out to Elena. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's Riley and then there's... Who's Huey, gonna, Huey. Huey, Huey. Okay. All of you want to act like you're... It was Huey, right? Yeah, Huey, Huey. Huey. Yeah. All of you want to act like you're Huey and you're not. You're not. You, you, I'm being serious. I'm not even trying to be funny. You, you didn't do all the things that you said you did. You didn't go out and march. You didn't, even if you did, you were in the way back of the line and you, you oh, left man. two hours early. The line. You didn't, come on. This idea that, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to, what, respect you because you grew up in a time where things were harder for black people. You just gave me an idea. What? Like, Nobody ever talks about, like, in the marches, like, who was in the, the very back? Yeah. <laughs> like, I... I'm, All you I'm, losers who no, fucking no, no, decided to take I'm, off. I'm curious to know if it was just, like, you know... Ah, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hot outside. Why are we wearing our church clothes? This is fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck it. Again, people, this is, don't, uh, relax with the comments, okay? <laughs> We're just having fun. I'm, I'm, I'm mildly serious, but, uh, you know, not for nothing. But you do have to ask, what happened to all those people that were in the back? Where did they go? Where did they, go? they went home. Where are the that's, bodies? That's, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> your mom's house. Where are the bodies? Where are the bodies, <laughs> Garth? Garth? Where are the bodies? <laughs> oh man it's been some great conspiracies alright that's the clip out that I want to send to to, to Tom fucking <laughs> A oh god alright so you wanted uh, you wanted to do a segment I'm not sure if you're ready for it oh yeah thank you uh, you reminded me yeah. alright so now we're going to what did I call it uh how to make a million dollars mm-hmm. with, with, with Kip and Casey. <laughs> <laughs> and I want audience participation. All right, hold on. Let's, let's introduce it one more time. Because I, I, we, we get it because I was coughing through it last week. Okay. All right, here we go. How to make a million dollars with Kip and Casey. <laughs> Why can you not laugh? Because <laughs> it's... We're clearly not telling you how to make a million dollars. Oh. Please don't. This is not financial advice. No, it is. Okay? Don't listen to him. Fuck. He might have killed somebody. <laughs> I Which is have. one way how to make a million don't, dollars. Don't listen to me. If you kill me. somebody high profile. Because I might have gotten away with it. <laughs> if you get away with it, and they're high profile enough, you might be able to get a million dollars. Okay. N- way number one. I was going to say, all right, you hire a wife, and you can... (laughs) Where's she from? Russia. (laughs) Always. Okay, beautiful. You hire this wife. All right. And, you know, this is perfect for all you red pillars out there. You uh, take a huge life insurance policy on her. Ah. And take her fishing. But she doesn't come back. Uh, Yeah, you can't do this with a Russian. They will come back. They'll swim back? They will swim the fuck back, and you will be fucked. I'm telling you this on experience. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but, no, don't do it with a Russian. So do, think, with, do with a I black... Think, do it with somebody black. I think... We can't swim. In the beginning of the episode, <laughs> I was talking about femicide. I think it's in the B-roll. Oh, you know, I think we were talking about it in the, in the living room. No, before. but I recorded on this one. Oh, beautiful. But, uh, yeah. 
don't commit femicide, whatever that means. It's a new word to me. I'm not even sure I'm using it right. Oh, Lord. But there's a... So you get a spouse. There we go. Nice, loose terminology. Yeah, do, do, do whatever you got to do. And, Non-binary, uh, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Big insurance policy. There you go. First million right there. So that's number two. All right, there you go. And I didn't have a third. Um, well, you Now you go. All right. So what I'm thinking is... Okay. You can bring you the moved, citizens. First you, of all, move to Florida. Okay. You move to Florida or you move somewhere down south. Somewhere where it's really easy to get a gun. Preferably something that's... Yeah, that's, you that's know, anywhere. Semi-automatic. But really, we're looking for automatic. We're, all, we're, we're looking for automatic guns. You're speaking my language. Okay. I'm white. You move to, <laughs> <laughs> you move to like West Palm. Don't move to Miami because we got a lot of cameras there and shit. Move to West Palm. They've got a shitload of cameras. Okay. Drive to Miami. Pick up the guns and then drive back to West Palm. Sit on it for like, and you got to buy a few of them. You got to buy a few of them. How many? Uh, okay. Buy 15. If if you got that kind of money to you know invest, if, if you don't have that kind of money, then rob somebody with the gun. Yeah, and and buy then, one, and then, and then you rob somebody it, that has that money, and then it repeats the cycle. You just keep you getting go. more guns and more money. And there then. you go. So you you all right? So let's say you're you're from New York, right? You don't have any money. Okay, um, go back. Beat somebody up on the subway, and take a train down to Florida. You get to Florida. Uh, I mean, you're already from New York. You already robbed somebody. You already have experience. Rob somebody on on, on the fucking train here. Get, you know, get... Uh, oh, an AR is going to run you. All right, you might have to rob a few people. It's just the reality. You might have to rob a few people. Mm-hmm. But you, you're from New York. You already have experience. Who gives a shit? And nobody's going to know you anyway. You leave your ID at home. If you get caught by the cops, you just give them some bullshit name. Tell and them you're Kip Sparrow. Yeah. Use, <laughs> use a fake accent, too. Use, use the Black Pander accent when you commit those. Just tell them, just tell them you don't speak English. But you can't... You, you, the thing is, is that you can't say that you speak Spanish. Because a lot of the cops here speak Spanish. And you can't say you speak Creole because uh, some of the cops are black. So, well, they just call their grandma. And uh, yeah, detective just, just, grandma. Just don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Could you imagine? Speaking. <laughs> and they just like pick up the phone and call their grandma. Like, grandma. Oh my God. You gave me a great. Okay. What the fuck is that? I don't know. That's the bomb. Goddamn Russian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and check that in a second. Hold on. We'll edit this part. While you're doing that, I'll just talk about uh, one of my favorite Haitian Dominican women of my life, uh, Gio's mom, Dominga. Oh my God. She is such a fucking like hustler and like made the American dream all her own and you know raised kids being a single mom and you know Gio's been my best friend for like over 20 years and she was like a surrogate mother to me and I think she was uh momentous in my development as a young person and shout out to Dominga I love you Dominga shout out to you yeah wait that's that's the Gio's Gio's mom Gio's mom wait Gio Gio that I know that's that's in uh, PR right now. <clears throat> no, no, he he lives in the efficiency. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. We're talking about a different Gio. A shout out to that Gio too. Yeah, love you too. But okay, so back to uh, how to get money. You're from New York. Uh, you rob somebody on the subway. You get a couple. You get a couple bucks. You you, you hop on a train. You fl- you run down <coughs> to Florida. You rob a few more people. You take that money, you go to a gun store, you buy yourself an AR-15, you go rob a bank, you take that money, you go back to the gun store, you buy 15 more guns, and then you don't have to, you don't have to rob people anymore. Now, you just bring the guns back up to New York, 
and you sell them. Just sell them. Sell them to all the criminals that you can find. Starbucks. Or Starbucks. <laughs> you imagine Starbucks employees just, not for nothing, but Starbucks employees should be walking around with ARs. In New York. The the amount of Karens that you got walking around in those fucking places, you they should be walking around with fucking... keep their goddamn mouth shut, i tell you what. <laughs> they won't be fucking snitching on black people using the internet and the bathrooms. I say we arm all the Starbucks... This is how you make a million dollars. You arm Starbucks. Arm Starbucks. And we sell Starbucks. This is guns. how you build your empire. You start off with one gun, you bring it to Starbucks, you say, hey, remember that Karen that was throwing her fucking coffee at you? You don't like that bitch? Neither do I. You want to buy this fucking AR? Yes? Look, here you go. It's not even you loaded. Arm the rest of them. It's not even loaded, so they'll, but they will shut the fuck up. I guarantee you. Guarantee. Everybody fall in line. That's how to make a million bucks. Yeah, instead of like uh, martial law from the government, we get it at the coffee shop. <laughs> I think people will fucking, they'll get it. They'll be like, I better not. We should just arm everybody. I better not bitch we about. Just arm fuck, everybody. I better not bitch about this two percent in my fucking coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you like? I have... Yeah, you you can imagine yourself right now. Just I being asked like, for stevia. I asked for. <laughs> in your head, you're like, I asked for. I mean, you look at that AR and you go, No, it's good. It's Thank good. you. It's good. And you just bounce. <laughs> yeah, a million dollars. This is a million dollar idea. Starbucks. Right this is good for you too. Right there. Because then they have to come back and buy more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I didn't like this. I gotta go back and, but I, I don't want to complain. I don't want to return it. I can't return it. They'll shoot me. <laughs> so that's how we should give you your order. Just <laughs> they got the gun pointed right at your head, and they're and still like, like cheer, Kathy. They're still how's, how's like, your drink? They're still cheerful when you walk in. Like, <laughs> welcome to Starbucks. <laughs> what can we get started for you today? Oh, we're all out of the fucking. Uh, impossible omelet. <laughs> They're always out of that impossible oh, fucking God. sandwich. I want that. Fucking impossible. I'm so tired of... Yeah. Don't. I like the fucking... Uh, fa- I like I, fake- I feel like it's the same thing with with the air fryer. Like, initially, I was, I was super against it, and then later on, I got with it. I, I don't know. Is is that the same? Is is it going to be the same thing? No, or, I just or eventually I, I, I just get think, into it. I think a majority have of vegans have become less annoying. So now it's like thank you, by the way, and it's it's thank you for doing that. So other people can try vegan food and like not I used, I used and to be not having like vegan resentment food. towards shit asses, shit ass assholes. <laughs> shit asses. <laughs> You know, those vegans that are just like, oh my god. There's, yep, there's... That, that was me. That yeah. was me. So uh, if you're less annoying, you can recruit more people to your cause. Mm. And that's why I want to be a cult leader. Are you, are you, you're not vegan. How to make a million dollars, number four. Ooh. Start your own cult. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times that has run past my life. <laughs> Start a is goal. ridiculous. I'm like, you know what? I, 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 I could do you know it. I can, I can, guys, come over here. I'm more charismatic than Charles Manson. Yeah, I, I, I could do this. <laughs> I'm just gonna fuck a bunch of women and 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 tell the guys to fuck off. Yeah, I, I can do that. It's what my life is regularly. So I, 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 I can do this. Just gotta make it quasi religious. Yeah, like, I just gotta write a book. Praise be Kipcock. And I just come out of the bushes with the Ten Commandments. All right, hold on. We can't, we can't give away all of... Uh, Our secrets. Get, yeah, we can't give away all the secrets. If I am going to start a cult, uh, I, I don't want people to bring this up. And, uh, you know, I can't have one of my cult members bring this up, and, like, on an iPad, which I won't let them have. But <laughs> if, if they, if they brought on, it up... On an like, imaginary iPad. <laughs> a year ago, you said you were going to write this book... 
I'll praise Kip's cock. <laughs> and just expose me in front of everybody. No, 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 no. Bethany, shut up. Bethany. Sit down. Oh, God. Fuck it, eh? All right, so this is how... Do we have another way to, to, to get rich? Go watch Gary V. Who? Gary V. You never heard oh, of Gary V? No. Gary but, Vaynerchuk. Go, he's Russian. Don't trust him. <laughs> I don't trust the Russians. <laughs> I trust them. You know what? I think that's one thing that me and you disagree on. I, you don't trust the Russians. I trust the I Russians. I think because I've been hanging out with you, I've been getting more of this Russian influence because you're pro-Russian and I'm just... I've been, I've been having them kind of... But like, I'm like... Every once in a while, I'll tell I'm Elena in, to go like send people your way just to... Like every once in a while, just have no, me like, just talk to you. I work for these people that they say they're Ukrainian, but I'm not sure because I don't know how to tell... They're Russian. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I can't, I don't know how to discern the two. But, like, people with that accent, I don't trust. Like, I don't... F- I like them. I watch a lot of James Bond movies. They're always a bad guy. It's it's funny because uh, uh, Elena, she doesn't speak like that at all. Like, I make fun of her, like, uh, keep you, you leave toilet uh, seat up. Uh, like she doesn't talk like that at all. She's like, she, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, yeah she, she <laughs> no doesn't accent. talk like that at all. She has no accent whatsoever, and her dad doesn't have an accent either. I don't even know if she's Russian. She might be totally lying to me, and 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 she's, she's Irish. Just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's just fucking. She's Irish, and she's just like, yeah, yeah. I, I I felt like Russian was gonna be a fooled you, <laughs> kept you away from me, Lucky Charms, long enough. I can say it. <laughs> I'm Irish. I can, I can do red face. Oh, fuck it is. <laughs> red face. <laughs> I can do it. Fuck it, a. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I fuck with the Russians, and and all of you that are gonna, uh, oh, they're they're doing this and that to Ukraine, and blah, blah. that's not why. <sighs> I Look, just man, think they're all shady. I, I'm... <laughs> all of them. That part of the world is fucking like. They live very hard lives, and they have to do bizarre, crazy shit. They eat potato soup. Potato soup is fine. I'm Irish. It's that's not, not good. Wh- that's... It's not good. All right. <laughs> it's not good. They, they have way more... Oh, uh, fuck. And everything's steamed. Everything's steamed and boiled. I don't understand why everything. Now you're attacking my boiled. culture. <laughs> that's Irish as well. Maybe it's because I have some sort of cross jealousy with them like and, our cultures are too similar and everything is potatoes made in some giant pot like uh, elena makes one dish for, for for dinner you're pissing and then, me off Kev. <laughs> you know i like to make soup but okay but if i if we want just dinner for one night i don't know dinner for 10 days that's why it's it's meal prep we were doing it before there was meal prep you're welcome I feel like you have PTSD over I <laughs> over the potato famine. You're like, we don't know when we're gonna get any more of these potatoes, so just bake them all. <laughs> just put it in the fridge. We didn't have refrigerators back then. Salt them. Put just them salt in, everything. We just put That's it, the other thing. Everything's salted. We put it. We put everything <laughs> in the cold ass ground in our hobbit holes, and that's how we survived. Hobbit holes? What do you mean hobbit holes? These the people, Irish, not the not the Russians. They the didn't Russians have, are big as shit. The Russians had fucking those big swirly fucking. Uh, yeah, they do have. Uh, she always comes home with these weird like, I don't know. They're, they're they're like artistic, and everything is inside of something else. And see that you know, uh, I'll, I'll sign off on that. That's why they're sneaky. They hide. <laughs> <Same> <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> I'm serious. It's all. It's like a bunch of stuff hidden in, in other things. And like if you pick up one thing, you like I drop it all the time because I, like I pick something up and like this glass wouldn't be a glass. It would be five glasses at one. And you're like, oh, shit. So I, I don't know. Elena, just I'm not trying to make fun of you. I mean, I am. But you know, you're going to hate me. <laughs> Just relax with the fucking with the potatoes and the fucking don't relax Jesus and the garlic and God. 
I love you, but enough with the keto and the goddamn fuck and the vodka. Jesus. The keto and the fuck vodka. <sighs> no, not Aikido. <laughs> That's keto. not what I said. Oh. <laughs> sorry, see, sorry oh. Super Seagal. We're, we're, we're not making fun of you. Even uh, though you I will. That guy's a piece of shit. Even though I, I met him once over at um, Mango's. He's a big fucking dude. He's also an asshole. I've been. I I didn't I didn't get that vibe from him. No, I think he's not an asshole to hospitality people. I think mm. he's an asshole to people in his movies. Oh, <laughs> I do hear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> fuck you, Steven Seagal. But not for nothing, he can get away with it because that that guy's big as shit. Like I. Seeing him in the movies, you kind of think, oh, this guy's, you know, average height, maybe he's six feet tall or, or whatever. When I met him, I was like, holy shit, he's, I mean, I'm six, I'm six one. He's, he towers over me. He's like six four and fucking built. Like, when he walked out, I was like, oh shit. Like, I don't, I don't even want to, because initially I was gonna be like, "Hey man, just love doing the and the, the movies," which I didn't, but I was just gonna say it. Like, how does a cook know how to fucking kick ass? But, yo, fuck, man! I was like, dude, this guy is Anyways, way too big for me to be saying. I'm shit. not gonna spend any more time on Stephen Shitgall. Um, <laughs> I would like to shout out uh, a new business in Wilton Manors. If you're familiar, uh, it's the, the gay community in Broward County. Kava Jive, I don't know if this is going to come out on camera, but they have wonderful staff, excellent drinks. I go there after my shift at Leaves and Roots in Pompano, and I just want to say thank you guys for opening up that spot and keeping the doors open for after hours employees you guys are really fucking great come down and i'll take care of you anytime beautiful sounds good man yeah we'll put the uh we'll put their uh the, a link to their website and directions and all yeah that. And they've been open for about a month so go good support shit. them if you're in the area or make a make a trip because it's a really nice spot good shit good shit and this is uh out in where is it wilton manors i have no idea where that is Whoa. Well, you're, uh, like you're very here. straight, so you wouldn't be, <laughs> you wouldn't go. I've been to the gay bars a few times. Gotcha, gotcha. It's been a, it's a so lot of fun. Good. But is it is it like around like the Hollywood area? No, it's uh, north of that. Okay. It's uh, past 595. All right, so it's up there. Again, don't know where it is, but all good. We'll put the link in, uh, in the description so everybody can see it. This Ain't fucking bomb is wanna... about to go off. This goddamn thing is tripping me out. <laughs> I'm going to get this on camera. <laughs> All right. We're going to close the show with this. Kip's wife, lady, gave him this to do Wi-Fi with. And I've never seen a thing like this before. I know I'm holding a bomb. But... This is just like when I was not scared of the sh- the shots fired She's outside. His cousin, which is really funny. <laughs> I wasn't scared of the of this bomb or the fucking gunfire outside, because you're being tracked, and that's it. Look, this is how just, you know, this just, is how you know I'm trustworthy. I want this I'll, to go I'll, off. I will allow right you now. to go ahead here. I trust her so much. I'll put it by my. Never mind. I'll put it. By- <laughs> I'll put it by your dick. <laughs> I trust her so much. <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, Elena. Um, th- this is the reason why I come at home at one o'clock. That's why you come? Uh, and you are also the reason that I come. Thanks. Uh, anybody else you want to shout out? Uh, shout out, shout out, shout outs. Uh, I got, I got one per, I got one business. Yeah. Uh, just, just people. Um, everyone that I've seen this week, uh, you won't know who you are cause this is going to come out way later. Uh, all the people who have been kind this week, it's been very nice having positive people in my life and it makes it less stressful. So True I want to impart 
that same thing that they gave me to anyone viewing now, you know, don't take life so seriously. Have fun. Thank God. Thank you. Yes. And, you know, love who you love, hate who you hate. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. <laughs> Seriously, that's such a that's the best piece of advice I've heard in a long time. Love who you love, hate who you hate. Just shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> like, yes, we're not gonna get along with certain people, but you know what? It's a waste of fucking time to argue with these people. Just let them be. Leave them alone. Just walk away. Walk away. Not everyone needs to get along with you and not everyone needs to agree with everything that you think or say. Just walk away. Walk away. Laugh. Go to our Instagrams and fucking laugh some more. Listen to our podcast. Jesus. And while you're doing that, get in an Uber and head over to South Beach and go to Lily Koi. Lily Koi. I think it's a some sort of some sort of thing in Hawaii. I think it's like a I think it's like a plant or a pineapple. I don't know, but the, the restaurant itself is on South Beach, South Point, um, and they have great food. If you're vegan, it's great. If you want to eat meat, it's great. If you want to eat healthy, it's great. If you want to eat, I don't know, bacon, it's great. Everything that they have there is very amazing. Shout out to Miguel, the chef that's over there. He does a great job. He has a great staff. Um, and I'd love to see you over there. And I'd love to shout them out. Um, I don't know if I have anybody else. Uh, yeah, we already did Burgers and Shakes. Lily Koi. We're always shouting out Lang Up. Shout out to them. I yep. fucking, lo- fucking love you guys all day, every day. Um, TGI Fridays, go fuck yourselves. Um... I think that, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. uh, Jesus Christ, we went in today. Fuck it, hey. This is, Uh, (laughs) this episode. I was so thankful when you called me at the gym. (laughs) This will just be, oh, let's do like a sign off. All right. Uh, What do you got? Thank you for joining us on the alligator couch. Have a good night. Ciao. All right, let's do another one. We can we can sort of edit it out maybe. Yeah. You, uh, you got another one? Sure. Let's do. Uh... No. Bye, bitches. <laughs> that works. Just kidding. Leave the whole thing in. <laughs> All right, we definitely gotta cut that out. <laughs> uh. Fuck it, a. Uh, no, but no. I love no. peace and chicken grease. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> uh, oh. Get all the sex you can. That's it right there. That's it. That's Get all it. the sex you can. Get it, yeah. I can't go on another rant about <laughs> sex. <laughs> but We're done. Get please get all the sex that you can. Jesus Christ. Uh, you know what? I think that perfectly timed with this hitting twenty minutes. Get all the sex that you can. Oh, I'll pay. All right, fucking a. <laughs> <laughs>